it's not hard, I think, that people receive you the way that you present yourself. If I go back to 90, it started the decade really nicely with Pretty Woman. And now to end the decade with all this great quality stuff in my life, that's a full 10 years. What would you be doing if you weren't an actress? I'd be a school teacher. The world knows Julia Roberts' smile can light up a silver screen. But behind the radiant facade, a shadow has fallen. News has reached us of a heartbreaking event that has shaken the beloved actress to her core. Details are scarce, whispers only carried on the Hollywood breeze. Was it a personal tragedy, a loss that cuts deep? Or is it something more, a professional problem that threatens the very foundation of her illustrious career? One thing is certain, Julia Roberts, the woman who has brought joy to millions, is now facing a challenge that could redefine everything we thought we knew about her. Let's get into the video to unreveal the truth. All I've ever done is bend my life around what men decide they need. Well, not now. I'm sorry. I Early life. Julia Fiona Roberts was born on October 28, 1967, in Smyrna, Georgia, a small town near Atlanta. Her parents, Betty Lou and Walter Grady Roberts, were both actors who even ran a workshop for aspiring performers for a while. However, their acting careers weren't very successful, and they ended up divorcing when Julia was just four years old. Life after the divorce was tough for Julia. Her mother remarried, but things weren't happy at home. Julia's stepfather struggled to find steady work, and money was always tight. Despite the challenges, Julia had a strong bond with her mother and older siblings, Eric and Lisa. Both Eric and Lisa were already interested in acting, and their dreams rubbed off on Julia. Though surrounded by acting, Julia initially had a different career path in mind. She loved animals and dreamed of becoming a veterinarian. However, science proved a bit too difficult for her. Julia then shifted her focus to journalism, thinking she might enjoy writing. In 1972, Julia's family moved to Smyrna, Georgia, where she attended school. Despite some financial difficulties, Julia had a happy childhood. She was known for her big smile and friendly personality. She loved spending time outdoors, playing with friends, and participating in school activities. By the time Julia reached high school, her brother Eric had already started acting in Hollywood. Seeing her brother's success sparked something in Julia. Maybe acting wasn't such a bad idea after all. After graduating from high school in 1985, Julia decided to follow in her brother's footsteps and pursue an acting career. With dreams in her eyes and a one-way ticket to New York City in hand, Julia set off to chase her Hollywood dream. New York was a big change from small-town Georgia. Julia faced many challenges, like finding an apartment and getting acting jobs. She even tried modeling at first, but it wasn't a good fit. Despite the difficulties, Julia never gave up. She took acting classes, honed her skills, and eventually landed a small role in a movie with her brother Eric. It wasn't much, but it was a start. Over the next few years, Julia continued to work hard, taking on small roles in movies and TV shows. Life wasn't easy for Julia in those early years in New York, but she persevered, fueled by her determination and her dream of becoming a successful actress. Little did she know, just a few years later, a single movie would catapult her to superstardom and make her one of the most recognizable faces in the world. Since I was 15, I've either been with a guy or breaking up with a guy. I have not given myself two weeks of a breather to just deal with, you know, myself. Film career. Her big break came in 1990 with the romantic comedy Pretty Woman. The film, co-starring Richard Gere, tells the story of a wealthy businessman who hires an escort, Julia Roberts, for a week. The chemistry between Roberts and Gere, along with the Cinderella-like storyline, resonated with audiences. Pretty Woman became a massive hit propelling Roberts to superstardom. Capitalizing on her newfound fame, Roberts took on a string of leading roles throughout the 1990s. She starred in thrillers like Flatliners and Sleeping with the Enemy, showcasing her dramatic acting abilities. She also returned to romantic comedies with films like My Best Friend's Wedding and Runaway Bride, the latter reuniting her with Richard Gere. While romantic comedies became her signature genre, Roberts continued to explore different roles. She played a lawyer in the legal drama The Pelican Brief, 1993, 
The year 2000 saw Roberts take a break from acting, focusing on her personal life. However, she returned a few years later with critically acclaimed performances. She earned an Academy Award for Best Actress for her portrayal of a complex mother in the biographical drama Aaron Brockovich, 2000. Since then, Roberts has continued to act in a variety of films. She delivered a powerful performance as a grieving mother in Mystic River and starred alongside Tom Hanks in the political thriller Charlie Wilson's War in recent years. Roberts has gravitated towards more independent films. She played a teacher battling a debilitating disease in The Normal Heart and a mother struggling with addiction in Ben is Back. Throughout her career, Julia Roberts has worked with some of Hollywood's biggest names, including Richard Gere, Tom Hanks, Denzel Washington, and George Clooney. She has received numerous awards including an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award, and a BAFTA Award. Even after decades in the industry, Julia Roberts remains a powerful force in Hollywood. Her diverse filmography showcases her talent for both comedic and dramatic roles, solidifying her place as one of the most respected actresses of her generation. Philanthropy Julia Roberts' influence extends far beyond the silver screen. Throughout her career, she has been a dedicated philanthropist, using her platform to support various causes and raise awareness for important issues. One of Roberts' most significant involvements is with UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund. In 1995, she visited Haiti as a goodwill ambassador to witness firsthand the challenges faced by children there. This experience deeply affected her, and she continues to advocate for UNICEF's work in providing education, healthcare, and other essential services to children around the world. Another cause close to Robert's heart is the fight against domestic violence, sexual assault, and child abuse. She founded the Joyful Heart Foundation in 1998, inspired by her role in the film Aaron Brockovich, which dealt with a community exposed to toxic chemicals. The foundation provides healing and support services to survivors, educates the public about these issues, and advocates for big change. Roberts has also lent her support to numerous other charitable organizations. She has been a spokesperson for Earth Biofuels, promoting the use of renewable energy sources. She is a board member of Hole in the Wall Gang Camp, a summer camp for seriously ill children. Additionally, she has participated in fundraising events for causes like AIDS research, children's hospitals, and disaster relief. Beyond specific organizations, Roberts has generously donated to various causes. She donated $2 million to the America, a tribute to Heroes Telethon after the 9-11 attacks. Roberts' commitment to philanthropy goes beyond simply donating money or attending events. She actively uses her celebrity status to raise awareness for the causes she cares about. She speaks out publicly, participates in campaigns, and encourages others to get involved. For Julia Roberts, philanthropy is more than just giving back. It's a way to make a real difference in the lives of others. She is a powerful advocate for important causes, inspiring others to join her in creating a better world. Production Company Julia Roberts isn't just a talented actress in front of the camera. She's also a businesswoman behind the scenes with her production company, Red O.M. Films. The name Red O.M. is a clever play on words. It's simply Motor, her husband Daniel Motor's last name, spelled backward. The company was founded by Julia alongside her sister, Lisa Roberts Gillen and Marissa Yurse Gill. Red O.M. Films allows Roberts more control over the projects she chooses to work on. Through the company, she can serve as an executive producer, giving her a say in various aspects of the filmmaking process, like script development and casting. One of Red O.M. Films' first ventures was the American Girl film series, 2004-2008. These movies were based on the popular line of dolls and books aimed at young girls. The series brought the characters and stories from the American Girl world to life on the big screen. While Red O.M. Films has produced a variety of projects, a significant portion involves films Julia herself stars in. This allows her greater creative input and potentially even influences the stories chosen. For instance, Red O.M. Films served as an executive producer for the film Eat, Pray, Love, 2010, which was based on the best-selling novel of the same name. Another example is the psychological thriller series Homecoming, 2018. This marked Julia Roberts' first foray into television and Red O.M. Films was involved in its production. Red O.M. Films isn't just about Julia's projects. The company has also produced films featuring other actors. 
One such example is Mona Lisa Smile, 2003, starring Julia Roberts but produced independently of Red OM Films. Despite its association with Julia Roberts, Red OM Films operates as a separate entity. The company considers projects based on their merit and potential, not just whether Julia might star in them. While not all of Red OM Films have been critical darlings, the company has played a significant role in Julia Roberts' career. It allows her to champion stories she believes in and potentially influence the kind of role she takes on. Red OM Films continues to be a force in the industry, giving Julia Roberts a platform to contribute beyond just acting. Fashion. In 2006, Robert signed an endorsement deal with fashion label John Franco Ferre, valued at $6 million. She was photographed by Mario Testino in Los Angeles for the brand's advertising campaign, which was distributed in Europe, Asia, and Australia. While Julia Roberts is primarily known for her acting power, she has also made a name for herself in the world of fashion through endorsement deals. Her classic beauty and effortless style have made her a desirable partner for major fashion brands. Robert's most significant and long-lasting endorsement deal is with Lancome. The partnership began in 2010, making her the face of the renowned French cosmetics brand. This deal involved promoting Lancome's entire range of beauty products, including makeup, skincare, and fragrance. The collaboration between Robert's and Lancome was a perfect fit. Her natural beauty and timeless elegance resonated with the brand's image. Through print ads, television commercials, and social media campaigns, Roberts became synonymous with Lancome's message of confidence and empowerment for women. The success of the Lancome partnership solidified Roberts' status as a fashion icon. Following this, other brands sought to leverage her influence. While details of specific contracts are often confidential, there have been reports of Roberts endorsing fashion brands like Givenchy and David Yerman. In 2024, Julia Roberts expanded her creative horizon by collaborating with Chopard on a high jewelry collection, Chopard X Julia Roberts. The collection celebrated the Insofu Emerald, a significant gemstone, showcasing Roberts' design influence alongside Chopard's renowned craftsmanship. This venture highlighted a shared dedication to sustainability within luxury jewelry, marking a significant blend of celebrity influence and ethical luxury. The collaboration, unveiled in Los Angeles, underscored Roberts' multifaceted career and her ongoing contributions beyond the film industry, Integrating her passions for creativity, sustainability, and high fashion, it's important to note that Roberts isn't just a pretty face for these brands. She often has a say in the creative direction of the campaign she's involved in. For instance, she reportedly played a role in developing the concept for a Lancome fragrance campaign featuring her. Roberts' fashion endorsements extend beyond traditional advertising. Her red carpet appearances are highly anticipated, and the fashion choices she makes generate significant media buzz. Designers often compete to dress her for these high-profile events, knowing that her association with their brand can lead to increased sales and brand recognition. While the financial details of Robert's endorsement deals are not publicly available, it's safe to assume they are quite big. These deals not only boost her income, but also solidify her position as a powerful force in the fashion industry. However, Robert's isn't just about the money. She is selective about the brands she chooses to endorse, ensuring they align with her personal values and image. She avoids overly revealing campaigns or endorsements that contradict her message of inner beauty and confidence. Overall, Julia Roberts' journey in fashion endorsements is a test to her enduring influence. She has transcended the realm of acting and become a true style icon using her platform to promote positive messages for women while collaborating with some of the biggest names in the fashion world. So the nominees for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role are... And the Oscar goes to... Julia Roberts. Personal Life On a 2023 episode of Finding Your Roots, Roberts learned that the surname of her biological paternal great-great-grandfather was actually Mitchell, not Roberts. Brat Roberts had romantic relationships with actors Jason Patrick, Liam Neeson, Kiefer Sutherland, Dylan McDermott, and Matthew Perry. She was briefly engaged to Sutherland. They broke up shortly before their scheduled wedding on June 14, 1991. According to Roberts, it had been canceled long before, days before the wedding, as the press claimed at the time, and that it was a mutual decision. On June 25, 1993, 
she married country singer Lyle Lovett. The wedding took place at St. James Lutheran Church in Marion, Indiana. They separated in March 1995 and subsequently divorced. From 1998 to 2001, Roberts dated actor Benjamin Bratt. Married to cinematographer Daniel Motor since 2002, their relationship is known for its stability and discretion. They met on the set of the film, The Mexican, and have largely kept their marriage out of the spotlight. Roberts prioritizes family time and raising her three children with Daniel Motor. She has spoken about the importance of creating a nurturing and supportive environment for them. Close bond with her siblings, actress Lisa Roberts Gillen and Eric Roberts. Despite some past problems, they have reportedly rebuilt their connection. She maintains a close circle of friends, including her siblings. These friends provide a strong support system outside of the Hollywood bubble. She is a positive role model for her children, instilling values of kindness, compassion, and hard work. She is known for her down-to-earth personality and emphasis on family values. Benjamin Bratt.in 2010 Roberts said she was Hindu, having converted for spiritual satisfaction. Roberts is a devotee of the guru Neem Karoli Baba, Maharajji, a picture of whom drew Roberts to Hinduism. In September 2009, Swami Dharam Dev of Ashram Harimander in Patauti, where Roberts was shooting Eat, Pray, Love, gave her children new names after Hindu gods, Lakshmi for Hazel, Ganesh for Phineas, and Krishna Bolram for Henry. Balancing career demands with family life can be challenging for any successful person. Julia likely grapples with this as well, ensuring her children get enough attention despite her busy schedule. Public eyes can be difficult for family members. Her children might face extra pressure or media attention due to their famous mom. Julia Roberts' dedication to her family and friends is a test to her character. Despite the challenges of fame, she has created a strong support system that allows her to thrive in both her personal and professional life. So that was the video guys don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you so much for watching.